All right, here's a quick video on managing disk size in Windows 10. So uh, there are a few different ways to find out how much space you have remaining on your computer, what you're using, and uh, have a couple tools on how to manage that. So one of the easiest ways to do that is click on Start and uh, go into File, Explore. And if you go into File, Explore, you might actually um, you might need to open up on the left-hand side this tree for this PC, and you can actually click on something like, I've got, I've got multiple hard drives on this computer. So if I go to devices and drives, I've got multiple drives. This one tells me I've, I'm starting to run out of space. I've got 18 gigs free, 476. If I right-click on this and go into properties, I'm gonna get that little pie chart that a lot of us are used to. Then my capacity, it says, is 476 gigabytes. So this is about a 500 gig drive. Um, and I've got this much used, and I've got this much free. I could compress it, but basically that's telling you what I have. It says that I also have another drive, and if I go into properties on that, uh, I get another pie chart with different results. This is obviously a larger drive. This is almost a two terabyte drive, and it's uh, about half, half full, or half empty, depending on whether you're an optimist. Okay. Uh, so that's the file explorer way uh, and you might not see that in quick access You might need to click onto this PC before you're able to see this information uh, Second method that some people use is click on start and type in disk Management and it should say create and manage or create and format disk partitions and This is going to be kind of the same thing. So you're going to see disk 0 which is my 500 gig drive disk 1 Which is my 2 terabyte drive and then I've got a CD-ROM but then I also have my volumes listed out here, which you know will tell you how much space I have free, like my CD-ROM, I don't have anything in. Um, another way, if you're unable to get into it with that, you can just type in diskmgmt.msc, and that'll go straight into this. So either disk space m for disk management and create and format disk partitions, or again, diskmgmt.msc, and that should go straight into it. Um, but either of those will, will also give you the information on how many physical disks you have in your computer. Um, so if this is a laptop, you might only have one, and it'll be disk zero. You might have multiple. You might have a computer tower with multiple drives, but it'll tell you that you may or may not have multiple partitions. One thing that I kind of find interesting is if I jump into File Explorer here, and I'm gonna see if I can pull these side by side. But if I look into File Explorer, I've got Speedy C, and it's uh, 476 and it's 18 gigs free. And that's actually just this little partition right here. I've also got a separate 100 gig partition and another 529 uh, megabyte partition. So it's almost a half a gig here that is for recovery um, And it's something that Windows set up for me It's it's not something that I'm able to go in and delete and expand into because it would probably make my computer not work and I'm curious, but I'm not curious enough to be risky. So anyway, uh, I thought you'd find that helpful again This one is a different format. This is NTFS. This is XFAT. I might, might even have other formats in there, but uh, Yeah, CDFS for the CD-ROM Cool. Uh, last but not least, let's talk about another option, and that is opening up command prompt. So you click on start, type in CMD to go to the command prompt. This is that DOS window that we're used to. Uh, and in here, we would just type in disk part. And now that we're in disk part, we can type in list disk. Oops. Try that again. There we are. When I spell it properly, it works. Weird. Thought I spelled it right. Anyway, list disk should come back with disk zero and disk one. Uh, and then if you type in list VOL, it'll tell you which volumes you have. So again, we've got multiple volumes that are on multiple disks. But if you wanted to know what size hard drives you have, this will I'll also show you that. So you can exit on that. Um, one other bit of information that I wanted to show is you can go into device manager. And Device Manager will let you know what physical disks you have plugged in. So if you jump into, like, the name of my computer is Legolas, because I'm a Lord of the Rings nerd. If you open up disk drives, you'll see the two disks that I have on my computer. So again, if I go into 
um, disk management. Here, it will show, show that I have disk zero and disk one. And disk zero is this 500 gig drive, and it's actually this one right here, this HP SSD EX950 512 GB. And then I also have this ST2000 drive, and that's Grande. So I've got Grande and Speedy. Those are my two drives. Uh, and if you wanted more information, you can go in here and it'll tell you that it's a standard drive and it'll tell you which driver it's using and you might be able to get more information on here, uh, write caching or whatever. To me, this is not that interesting, but it will at least tell you, this is what Windows sees on your drive. Um, I've actually been having problems with this computer and sometimes this big 2000 gig Grande drive disappears. So that's something that I get to look at on my own time. Uh, last but not least, I did want to show you disk cleanup. So if you just click on start and type in disk space C for cleanup, you should see that come up. Uh, if that doesn't show up, another way to get into it is just to go into your file manager, which you can either click on it at the bottom or just type in file, man or file explorer rather. Uh, and then on the left, click on this PC, click on the drive that you're interested in, go to properties, and then down here is disk cleanup, and that'll take you over here. And it'll ask you which drive you want to speed up, or sorry, clean up. And for me, it's gonna be speedy C because it's, uh, it's starting to get full, right? I only have 18 gigs free. Um, and I'm gonna hit clean up system files, and that's gonna take care of things like Windows updates files that might've just been sitting on there for days. So I'm going to hit that, see what sort of space savings I can get. So it says I have 18 gigs free now, but this can free up another six gigabytes. And I'm just gonna check everything because I don't care about things. Yeah, downloads, I don't care. That's 35 gigs that I can get rid of. Great. Uh, so now I'm gonna free up 41 gigabytes and hit okay and delete files. And that's gonna go through for me and safely clean up my hard drive. Now, if I wanted to, I could even check this box to compress the drive and save space and that's going to take files that can compress and compress them. That will actually slow your computer down a little bit uh, because your computer's gonna have to think to uncompress the file every time you go to open it, and then every time you're done with it, it'll kind of recompress it because it's no longer using it, or it'll at least have to uncompress it out of its native place to, to read the file, and if you modify it, then it'll have to reprocess the file. So it's a little bit of overhead on your computer. Um, I wouldn't do it on a Windows volume where you have all your running programs and stuff, but maybe if you have a second disk, I'd often turn that on. Uh, if it's just for storage, long-term type stuff, I'd often turn that on. Um, pictures, movies will not compress almost at all. They're already in a compressed format, but you'll get a lot of compression out of things like PDF documents and Word documents and notepad files. You get all sorts of compression out of those. So anyway, this uh, computer is now cleaning up my hard drive. It's getting rid of Windows Update cleanup stuff, and hopefully I will have some major uh, let's see, we'll pause this for a second and let this finish. Okay, so my disk cleanup happened and now I have 25 gigs free. So I got some free space regained just because of disk cleanup. Uh, hopefully this helps you. If, it, if, uh, if you still have any questions, yeah, this is still gonna take some time to, to refresh, but it's saying that's 25 gigs free. So that's, that's nice. Oh, there it is, and 25 gigs free. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, anyway, uh, take care. Bye.